honoring all my breast cancer survivor sisters today. I love all of you. I appreciate all of you. You are so beautiful. You are loved. I honor you. I salute you. You are a body. Thank you. Back to another video, guys. Happy Sunday. Okay. So, first of all, we're going to talk about two things today. We're going to talk about uh, Breast Cancer Month. We're in October. And we're going to talk about how to handle a week that is so busy, no time for everything. Like, how do you overcome that? How do you deal with that? How do you find balance after having like a rough week, a rough day? I'm going to talk about those two things, right? So, welcome back. Thank you for always tuning in. My name is Janet on this channel here. We talk about health, fitness, um, you know, real talk, anything that's going on, we're gonna talk about it, okay? There's nobody throwing any shade here. This is a platform for sisterhood, for friendship, just to talk. Any questions, anything we wanna talk about, just uh, send me a message and, um, you know, we're just, gonna, we're just gonna talk about it. This is where it is, all right? So thank you for tuning in. First of all, let's talk about last week. All right, guys, my week that I had last week, there was no words for it, okay? Going in early, leaving late, I was tired to the core, all right? So first of all, how do I deal with that when I'm exhausted, busy week, no room for anything? First of all, I get up, I started my day with God, and then I didn't have time to work out every day. So I got three days in, I still push because I know that I'm important and I have to put myself first. It was hard, it was tough, right? Many mornings I'm like, I can't get up, I can't even move. But I got three mornings in and the mornings that I didn't work out, I had my little routine. 15, 30 minutes, I stretched, I did my squats, I did what I needed to do. I had to get my body moving. I was stiff, I was tired, I was just exhausted to the point that, hey, you know? but I still wanted to feel good when I go to work. So I had to get up and say, hey, no time for playing around, stop playing. Told myself that, stop playing, get up, do what you gotta do, and I'm telling you, it was hard. It's not easy. Guys, if you don't have strength, if you're not disciplined, you cannot be on any journey. It doesn't matter fitness, health, it doesn't matter what it is, you will not be able to be on a journey if you're not disciplined. And I'm telling you, I'm disciplined, but I had to dig deep because I didn't want to do anything, okay? But I had to really remind myself that, hey, you're giving work 200% and what are you giving to yourself? So I had to really check myself and try to figure out what am I doing, okay? So I got through it the whole week. It was just hard. It came for me hard. But no matter what, I still got up, I set my clock. After every two, three hours, I got up, I said, let me take five, 10 minutes, went outside, got my walk, and the weather was beautiful. Did my walk, did what I had to do, come back to deal with whatever I had to do. Phone calls never stopped. Every time I look around, there was a Zoom meeting, and I'm like, why, why, okay? And then I'm like, hey, why not? God never give you more than you can bear. And I've proven that to myself over and over. I dealt with everything. I stayed calm, treated everyone with respect. I didn't lash out at anybody. My brain was screaming half the time and I wanted to fight, but I just had to take a breath, settle down and do what I needed to do. So I got through it. By the time Thursday rolled in, I, I was done. Okay, I was done. Friday, went in super early, left late. So I already knew what my weekend was gonna be. But even though I knew, I said, you know what? I'm gonna find a way. I didn't walk Saturday morning. I couldn't get up. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. And I felt angry. I felt miserable because I told myself, hey, you gave your job 200% and now you're giving yourself 0%. Why do we do it? It's who we are. But you know what? Even though I didn't walk, even though I didn't work out, I got up, I stretched, I took a breath and I said, you know, I feel anxious and I feel angry that I'm not trying to take care of myself but you know what I said I'm gonna give myself grace I barely got up and when I got up 
had to pull myself together. I told myself I'm not going on the road. I'm not doing anything strenuous. I was so tired. It needed a reset for me. So I got up and I said, let me do some chores. Because I didn't do anything all week. Remember, I always do stuff during the week so the weekend I can be free. I did nothing all week. So here I am, need to do laundry, need to clean house, all of that. And I took my time. And as I'm going through stuff, I was reflecting on the week that I had. And I'm like, God, you know what? This is insane. But I know that I can be strong and I can overcome this. And I got through it. Didn't leave my house. I just did what I could do on Saturday. And I rested. My brain, I had to shut it down. I didn't get on the phone. I didn't do anything. I was so tired. And I had to. Okay? This was like beyond anything, you know, that I've gone through in a while. But sometimes life comes for you. And when it comes for you, you got to know what you're going to be giving back to yourself. So I got through it, rested all of Saturday, did my chores and I rest. And now today I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do what I need to do. Right? So I got through it this week coming up. It's going to be busy as well. Same thing. I'm going to handle it better. I'm going to write in my journal. I'm going to set expectations for myself that I know I can handle. And I'm going to set goals for myself. And I'm gonna have boundaries, okay? Half the calls I'm probably not gonna take. Half the things I'm not gonna do. I'm just gonna give myself grace and get through the week. Last week I gave 200%. This week you're gonna get 50, right? Because I need to give myself 200% this week. All right, I'm gonna go on my walk. I'm gonna try to get four miles or whatever I can get in because I need it. There's no way I can start my week and I didn't walk or didn't move, I can't. All right, so I gotta do what I gotta do. Right, already got my food, got everything, and um, I don't need to go on the street and buy anything because I don't need anything. I need to give myself grace. All right, so let's talk about uh, breast cancer. Okay, this whole month has been very emotional for me. Uh, talking to people, so many people have cancer, breast cancer, and different type of cancer. This week, last week that passed, because we're going in a new week. It was very heavy for me because just talking to people, there's one nurse that I work with. I've known her for so many years. I did not know that she was a breast cancer survivor. I was very disappointed in myself. Like, how could you not know this? How could you not know this? I didn't know. She didn't share it. Something happened and we were talking and she said it to me. I felt awful. I felt sad. I felt disappointed in myself because sisterhood, friendship, and we're supposed to know these things. We're supposed to be there for people. But that one, it, 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 it slipped through and I didn't caught it. And when she said it, I'm like, let me tell you something. This morning, I didn't even want to get up, really. Didn't want to walk, didn't want to do anything. I'm tired, but I had to pull it together. Because when I look at this person, right? She is a baddie, okay? Strong, all right? She is amazing. Showing up every day, showing out. The work she does she's a professional all right and she's one of the best nurses that I know and I'm telling you I would have never known or guessed if she didn't say it to me and that I got very emotional with that and I said if she can get up and show up every day and do what she needs to do I'm gonna get up this morning and do what I need to do I'm dedicating my video today to all the breast cancer survivors all the bodies that I know that going through cancer one of my baddies in New York, my OG, ride and die, right? She just had her surgery like two weeks ago. And guys, one week after her surgery, she was out walking. And I'm like, okay, if that is not a baddie, I don't know what is. So I don't have any excuse. I don't need to complain. I just need to get up, show up, and do what I need to do. Guys, this is serious, okay? My other baddie in Tampa, she had her surgery. She's battling cancer. She had knee surgery. I can't find her. She's out walking. Hello. How do you uh, have uh, two knee replacement and you're out walking? How are you battling cancer and you're at the gym and you're doing what you need to do? So I don't have any excuse. I'm not going to complain. I'm going to shut it down and do what I need to do. I am showing up for me today. You know what? Based on what I know, people battling cancer, this cancer is no joke. It's just coming with a vengeance, right? And if people are battling cancer and they're showing up for themselves then I don't have any excuse so I'm motivated and I feel honored to know these women right and I'm telling you love them 
And I know it's not easy, but they're showing up every day for themselves and they're showing out. So I'm gonna go on my walk, I'm gonna pull it together, I'm gonna do what I need to do, right? Dedicating this video to my baddies, right? Pedal, you're in New York, ride and die OG. You had your surgery, you're coming through, you're walking, you're doing what you gotta do. Girl, I'm gonna show up for me today because you're always showing up, all right? Trini, you're amazing. Knee surgery, you got paddling with your cancer, you're still going. You're at the gym, you're walking. Hello, who are you? A baddie, all right? That's what I'm talking about, okay? All my nurses, all my people that I know, you got your cancer, you're a cancer survivor, I'm going to be calling out on everybody this week, okay? Patty, Miss Waveney, Patty, Miss Thelma, awesome, amazing, beautiful, full of love, joy, strong, huh? Showing up every day and showing out. I'm telling you, I'm going to keep pushing. My neighbor, Pat, amazing, a Patty, worked all her life. She had that breast cancer, dealing with different things, had her surgery, a Patty. When I talk to her, how you doing? She going on her walk. She's doing this. She's doing that. I'm not going to make excuses today, guys. This is what I do for myself. I look at other people's lives, see what they're going through, and I decide that I'm going to be strong. I'm going to show up for me, no matter how I'm feeling. Putting that aside, I'm going to show up, and I'm going to show out. Okay? I'm going to do my best on my walk. This week coming, I wrote in my journal this morning that I know what I need to do. All right, I'm gonna balance my time. I'm gonna just try to find a balance and I'm just gonna make sure I have what I need, you know, that I, that I have what I need so that I can settle down and don't get anxious, okay? So how are you gonna do this week? You're gonna show up for yourself. You're gonna be the best version of yourself no matter what's going around, around you, whatever the job wants from you, you give it, but make sure you leave a little bit for yourself. Okay, make sure you leave, leave a little bit so you can go on a walk, so you can exercise. Leave a little for you. Stop giving so much to everything and everyone. Okay, this week, I'm not on the phone. This week, I'm not trying to talk to anyone when I get home because I'm on the phone all day at work and I'm just, it's just non-stop, all right? So I'm gonna check in with who I need to check in uh, today, make sure everybody's all right, and I'm gonna check on myself as well, okay? giving myself grace, showing up for me, showing up for breast cancer, showing up for all cancer, all right? This is what I need to do. I'm on my journey, I'm gonna keep pushing, all right? October is gonna be done before you know it. We just got two months before the month, you know, the whole year is gonna end and we're gonna go into the new year. So guys, let's just step it up. Forget about all the crying and kicking and screaming. Do what you need to do, get your walk in, right? I saw a challenge um, yesterday. I looked at a video in this guy, and he said 30-day challenge, 10,000 steps, and it's a walking video and stuff like that. I'm gonna do that as well on the inside when I'm home. I'm gonna do stuff like that when I don't want to go out, when it's raining, when I don't feel like going outside to walk. All right, that's gonna be my go-to. Right, find your video at home, go on your walking, set up your schedule this week, guys. Do your best. Show up for you. No complaining. No crying. No kicking and screaming. You're a baddie, right? Get your outfit together. Put on your night outfit. Look, I'm doing pink, breast cancer. I'm gonna put on my breast cancer t-shirt and I'm gonna go on a walk. I'm gonna show up. I know when people see me, they're gonna say like, like, who is that? Who does she think she is? I know who I am. Do you know who you are? Make sure you know who you are today, the rest of the week, the rest of the month, the rest of the year. I know who I am. I'm gonna keep showing up for me, walking in faith. I know I'm a baddie, right? When I'm walking this morning, nobody's gonna be talking to me because I'm gonna be going fast. I'm not gonna listen to what you're saying. I don't wanna hear complaining. People see me and I'm walking and they start talking, complaining. I'm not gonna hear complaints today, all right? I have my OGs that I normally walk with on the weekend. I couldn't go out on Saturday. One of my baddie, Claudine, she didn't go out either. Son is in the hospital. It's always something going on. Everybody's battling something, all right? And um, we just wanna really give ourselves grace, find some quiet time, settle down, get ourselves together, all right? Get your food, get tons of water. I have my electrolytes that I'm gonna use in my water. That water alone is not cutting it for me. I feel dehydrated sometimes. 
and I feel like I need more, so I'm going for more. There's options. Don't just sit and settle and feeling all crummy and crappy and you're not doing anything about it. I'm gonna make my juice today. I did nothing uh, yesterday about juice or nothing, nothing, okay? I had a list of all the things that I needed to do and that list all the last week, zero, zero. But hey, today's a new day, a new week, and I'm gonna start fresh. Don't beat yourself up. If you don't get to do what you need to do uh, one day, turn it over to the next day and do what you need to do, all right? The sun is hitting, the weather is gorgeous. There's no way I'm sitting home and I'm gonna sit down and just take this, all right? We're not gonna feel sorry for ourselves today. We're not gonna feel sorry for ourselves this week. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get up, we're gonna start fresh, we're gonna find our clothes, we're gonna put it on, no baggy clothes, no clothes like so you're looking like you're homeless or a hobo. We're gonna be showing our shape. Let me tell you something. Years ago, I would never wear a top like this and anything showing and all of that. And I get up and I'm like, why not? I've been eating, working out, doing what I need to do. Why am I not showing it? I'm showing it. Show your skin, show your shape, okay? Just show up and show out, all right? Just be the best version of yourself. Stop worrying about things that you can't fix. The ones that you can't fix, try to fix it, okay? I'm gonna fix what I can fix today. I need to go on my walk. I need to get my body moving. I wanna just feel like energized and I wanna enjoy this weather, okay? So do the best and forget the rest. Get your food, set up your salad, pack your lunches. I have all of that to do today. So I don't have time to be on the phone, whiling out, talking any kind of nonsense. What I am gonna be doing when I come back from my walk, I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna do my hair, right? And I'm gonna set up my food for the week, okay? Practice it, do it. It's gonna make it easier for you. It doesn't matter, even if it's a sandwich, make it, put the things together so that you have it ready and you can just throw the sandwich together. Make things easy for you. Cut up your veggies, wash everything, cut up your fruits, have it ready. That's what I'm gonna do, okay? And if it's one thing on your list, then it's one thing. It's one more than you did yesterday. So keep showing up for you, do your best, all right? Going on my walk, okay? Gonna honor my sisters today. And I just wanna let them know I love them, right? You're battling now, you're fighting. But let me tell you something, you're a baddie and you're gonna be okay. And no matter what, I'm gonna use you, look at you, look at your life, and I'm gonna use that in mind, and I'm gonna go hard, I'm gonna go strong, and I'm gonna show up for me. Proud of you guys, you guys are amazing.